Well, hey guys, today's experiment with audio amplifiers is to drive this audio output stage with an op amp. Well, if you watch my videos or if you play with this stuff, you might know that you know, your emitter follower stage has no voltage gain. And I was going to use an LM4562, which I have diagrammed here. Problem is, I'm limited with the supply voltage I can feed that. And you have your output swing that can only go to the rails. And with the 4562 it's plus 18 and minus 18, total 36 volts. So my output swing is limited within those rails. And even if I had this powered separately with higher voltage, because the output stage has no voltage gain I could not get a larger signal out. I needed something that could have a higher supply voltage so I can get a higher signal to drive this output stage with. So I decided, well, I'll just use an LM1875 because it'll go up to 60 volts, plus 30, minus 30. And I wanted to play with this thing at plus and minus 25 volt rails, see what kind of power we could get into 4 ohm loads. So yeah, just use an LM1875. And it's got pretty good distortion specs when it's actually driving a load. And those should improve when there's no load because, you know, that's no load is the best condition as far as distortion goes because as you load the output stage, you'll get some distortion. So I think it'll function just fine as a voltage amplification stage. So in other words, it'll handle the uh, input and the voltage amplification stage driving into the output stage. You know, it has its uh, Darlington pair emitter follower config. So yeah, that should give us some decent output power. All right, let's take a closer look at the schematic. Like I said, I'm using an LM1875 in place of this chip. Now I'm using the same component values so you don't have to worry about you know what differences are and all that good stuff. Output of this goes into the emitter follower stage. This here is just the emitter or I mean the uh, bias spreader transistor with the uh, bias control here. And uh, up here I'm using a bootstrap for my current source. This resistor really doesn't have to be here because the output's connected directly. But if this wire happened to pop off, it's good to have that resistor there because this that would uh, turn the output stage on fully if that happened to open up without that resistor. And it's just your typical emitter follower output stage. And the supply voltage will be Instead of 15 volts, I'll use 25 volts and a 4 ohm load. Okay, I have to hook this thing up. i got to get this uh, bias spreader mounted onto the heat sink for thermal tracking. And plug all these wires in. Um, the negative feedback comes out and goes into the uh, inverting input of the chip. So it's, uh, it's going to be handling the so-called error correction. So i got to have all these wires connected up. We have plus, minus, and ground supply coming over here. We have the output from this and the negative feedback line. So get those plugged in. And I'll uh, get the, uh, well, we'll do a listening test. I'll hook up a speaker to the output of this and music player and do all that fun stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, it's all hooked up. I'm not going to worry about twisting the wires and all that stuff. You know, just for this demo, even though you should. By the way, from my last video, I do have my bench grounded now. Temporarily, until I can run some permanent wires. But that's another story. I have this here, kind of squeezing the uh, bias transistor onto the heat sink and 
Right now I'm just running it off my current limited supply. Just want to make sure the bias is set. Yeah, dip too much. Just the potentiometer there, so we get a little bias. Not much. Actually don't need much. Right there is good. Okay, so this thing's ready to roll. Kind of looks like a mess, all these wires running around. This, uh, by the way, is not connected. It's just sitting there from the last video. This is the active amplifier voltage amplification for the output stage. Well, I'll try something different this time. I'll play some music that I like. Copyrighted stuff, but hopefully I'll edit it short enough so it doesn't get picked up. And if it does, I'll just have to uh, delete the video and repost it with something you know, shorter or non-copyrighted music. All right, let's rock. I have my music player connected to the input, and here we go. But you said, child, just once more. I chose you for the one. Now we're having so much fun. Castles made of sand fall in the sea eventually.
standing everywhere Across the street I'm at the slop affair Look who came up to join me. How you doing, Snickers? <laughs> Don't nose print the camera lens now. Time to take a power measurement. I have the toroid transformer set up, void bridge, big filter caps on the variac, bulb limiter, and I'm going to adjust the bias using that. And it's the bias up too much. And too low. Let's bring it up a little bit. It's at 53 volts the power supply is so this will be a good uh, thing to adjust it. Normally you would adjust by metering the output current but I'm just using this. It'll, it's fine for this little demonstration. Okay well I'm not gonna get max power out with that bulb limiter in so I'm gonna have to use a larger one maybe or even go direct. I don't have any current limiting so I don't want to blow anything up. Okay let's get the measurement. Preset it. Looks like we're uh, 14.1 volts and uh, let's punch that up on the calculator. 14.1 squared divide by 4 Ah, we're getting 49.7 watts. Eh, just about 50 watts. I would expect a little better, though. There's just uh, probably connection losses on these boards. I would expect probably around 55 watts at plus and minus 25 volts. And we probably could even squeak out a little more. We probably could go to 65 watts if we uh, goose the power or the uh, supply voltage a little bit but hey it works pretty good and uh, I guess the next adventure is to actually put a discrete input and voltage gain section on this to make a complete discrete amplifier and I'll do that in not the next video but a future video so that'll be an upcoming little thing to do well, that's it. Thanks for watching.